McAfee Security will help you stop pop-ups from appearing within Windows. They've even gone ahead and written an article about this and how McAfee can help. And at the bottom, it even says, get protected now with McAfee. But when you install McAfee, McAfee itself actually keeps consistently showing annoying notifications and pop-ups. So what are these annoying pop-ups that keep happening when you're using the security software? You might have noticed in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you get notifications saying protect your digital life. Here's how McAfee is protecting your online life. Protect your privacy and so on. And despite many users complaining and asking on the community forums of McAfee support, how can you turn off these annoying notifications? They keep getting the same response. And unfortunately, the methods that they are suggesting do not turn off these marketing notifications. There is no way of doing this. In fact, there is one way of doing this, which I will show you in a minute, and that's just totally remove McAfee security and use the Windows Defender security or an alternative third party security program. So let's have a look and see what McAfee suggests. So they are saying to open up the McAfee total protection or security and then go to your settings. You then need to go to general settings. Once you're here, you now need to go to informational alerts and you then need to simply toggle this to off. So yes, this is going to turn off some notification alerts. However, if you're on this video to see how to remove some of those other notifications, which are marketing related, this isn't going to work. So once you press apply, you will no longer get any informational alerts, which is fantastic. So I have already tried using McAfee with this setting turned off, and unfortunately it did not remove those annoying marketing notifications, but it did remove some of the annoying alerts and pop-ups. So if you can withstand and carry on using McAfee with those pop-ups, then happy days, this will help you out. If you can't, then unfortunately the only other thing you can do, like I said at the start of the video, is to completely remove McAfee. And you will then need to decide if you want to use the standard Windows security, or if you want to install another security program like AFAST, AVG, or something like that. Kaspersky is also another good one. So as you can see, I am using a trial version of McAfee. I do actually also have a purchase version, which I got for free with some sort of Microsoft Office upgrade or something like that. And I've removed it off all my computers. In fact, I only installed this trial version so I could do this video. So the first thing that we need to do to remove McAfee is just simply press close. Once you've closed it down, you then need to right click on the start menu icon and you then need to go to apps and features. You then need to search for McAfee. Once you see it in the list, you then need to select it and you then need to go uninstall. You then need to click uninstall again and you will then have a window that looks like this. That's currently loading and taking a while. You can then decide if you want to remove all files. So I actually want to remove everything from the program, including the subscription information, absolutely everything, get rid of it. Once you're happy with the options you selected, go ahead and click on remove. So like I said, this is now going to remove the security from your computer and straight away in the bottom right hand corner there, you can see Windows security is starting to do its thing. So we will then need to restart Windows and your computer will be using the Windows Defender if you're using Windows 10 or 11. And then like I said, you can then decide if you want to use a different third party security program. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. So like I said, you can remove some of the notifications from McAfee, but like I said, you cannot remove the annoying marketing notifications unless you remove the security itself. So if you like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.